This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, this guy was teased by these women because they they thought he didn't look fresh. Okay, now <clears throat> he has on the same outfit that Jay Z had on about 15, 20 years ago, but we'll get to more of the, these girls were <clears throat> all unapologetic when uh, they got destroyed online uh, for teasing him about saying he's not fresh. <clears throat> we'll get to more of this what, right now. So he's showing that he has more outfits that are super fresh, okay? And uh, people were saying, "This is, I ain't fresh. Tell me what fresh is supposed to look like. Uh, tell New Balance to bring that deal. He should get a deal. He keeps wearing the New Balances. Now, these are what these girls dress like. They, li they dress like... <laughs> Bro, they just dress like they don't care. They just put some stuff on, and and it still looks kind of off. You know, at least he was well put together. Now Jay Z wore the same outfit twenty years ago. Um, someone made a <laughs> someone made an action figure of him. <laughs> That's hilarious. But man, he got he's getting a lot of that that, that went viral, man. Okay, so then we got uh, Le Bebe. It says, be careful how much you tolerate. you teaching them how to treat you. I love it. All right, he's, he's, he's like Meek Mill of Atlanta, just tweeting out anything. Then we got Lotto. She says, my favorite thing about being rich is going out to eat anywhere I want and ordering whatever I want. Someone said, not right now, Lotto. Please, it's rent season. So then Lotto says she'll pay her rent. She says, Lotto, don't do budgets. Love ya. She, supposedly, sure, her rent was paid. I think all this stuff is set up for promo. Think about it. She's really desperate pr promoting a Sunday service record. I think little things like this keep getting her posted on the blog. So I'm going to be honest. I mean, that's just how it is. You know, you could disagree. You want, no, it's real. You want to believe it's real. Um, then we got, oh, here we go. Finesse two times. The, the Meek Mill of Memphis. Uh, let's see what he's ranting about on this one. This is after WAC 100 exposed paperwork on his mother. And saying that he is a bona fide cooperator. I'm sending money home to the bitch, man. I'm talking about not no little. Shit. I'm sending three, four, five thousand a week to the crib for my boy, making sure her bills paid, making sure my boy fresh, making sure he's looking good from the jail house. And you got in the streets that won't even take her their kids. You think this guy had three to five thousand dollars a week when he was in the jailhouse? Come on, he just got money when he got out. He's a, he's a liar. Now CC done broke bad on me, y'all. Now that I'm in the shoot, I can't send no more money to the crib. I ain't no more love. She done went on. She still with this old man. Now mind you, she still with this old. I'm 26, 27 at the time. I met her when I was 21, and she was with the old nigga when I was 21. I get to Atlanta. I try to make our relationship right for my son, because this the only boy that I got. This the only boy that I supposedly have. I skip something that y'all need to hear. When we was at that house, when, when she had that baby after them three weeks, check this right here, fly down. I get to the hospital. I get to the hospital, now, we didn't discuss three, four different names about naming dinner, about naming my son. I get to the hospital. I'm like, damn, where you at? She like, oh, they went to wash them off. I said, I said, okay. So I can feel like the room was dry. You got her, her mama, you got her sister, you got her other sister, they in here. So I feel the room kind of dry. I'm like... I try to break the silence. I'm like, so what you name him? Dylan. Dylan? Man, I ain't never heard of that name. We ain't never discussed that. We ain't, where that name come from? Like, 
She had a nerve to tell me. Do what she told me, y'all. This fucking feet dragging that bitch. Had a nerve to tell me. My mama named him after her favorite character on The Young and the Restless. I go to the house with him. Don't you know out of nowhere, y'all? About 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Now, man, y'all, I only seen this old through the window, heard his voice. I never came in contact with him because I've been having to shake the All my life, I've been shaking the I heard boom, 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 boom. I know I'm on the run, so I'm like, damn, it's the police. I run to the front door. I look out the window. Man, I see a nigga look like Bernstein Burns, man, like with a little fro on his head. Nigga look just like Bernstein Burns, dog. I look out the window. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I go back to the room. She was like, man, that's probably the old head. I said, oh, that's the old head. I grab the Draco off the dresser. I go to the door, swing the door open. I'm like, man, what's up, man? I swear to God, every time I watch Baby Boy and, and I see Tyrese come and G-check, I mean, and, G, and Snoop Dogg G-check Tyrese, I, that, I swear to God, like, it always reminds me of this situation. Man, I come to the door, I'm like, man, what's up, my nigga? Like, who is you? This is what the nigga did. The nigga looked at me, the nigga looked at that Drake, and did a bow face. His got the fuck on. He wasn't trying to see none of that young nigga. I'm gonna go on and get to my point. I was getting my son, trying to get him. Man, I went like four or five months without seeing him, right? Still sending money, though. Still sending money, y'all. Still sending money and not even seeing them. It was three weeks before Christmas break. She called me. She said, uh, I need $3,500 for Christmas. I said, that ain't no issue. I'll get you the $3,500. That ain't, that ain't no problem. But, excuse me, when I'm going to see my son, though? Oh, you can get him on Christmas break. You can have them come down there with you on the whole Christmas break. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, I right, bet because my other kids live with me and I need them to bond. I need them to know each other. I need them. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, get this family thing. She acting like it's all good. She acting like everything's straight. I call her. This super grammy say, oh, we're going to have to meet up at a park or somewhere and see him and bond with him at a park or something. At this point, it's time for me to really sit back and analyze what the fuck going on. Now, let me tell y'all something she told me. I'm going to tell you something. Basically, the, just the story is she denied him a DNA test, right? And, you know, it's probably not even, maybe it's not even his kid. Who knows? Maybe he got finessed. That's the, you just keep talking. It's like, yo, you probably got finessed, my G. <laughs> People are criticizing Little Dirk for being Muslim and posting pictures with sexy red when she's half naked. That's just true. 50 Cent says, When I look back, some of the stuff I did, I got to learn to shut up. Look uh, look at that. Look at the end of the tr- uh, is trouble. This is when he sh- you know, shot a shot at uh, Vivica Fox while he was getting an award. He said, thanks to Vivica Fox for wearing that dress. And it turned into, they started dating, and it turned into be a nightmare. <laughs> still is a nightmare to this day. She still talks about it to this day. Oh, Kai Sinat reacts to the new slang, no diddy. Oh. Diddy? Me. Do I get it? You just saying no diddy? You just saying diddy instead of, instead of um, pause? Okay. <laughs> Saying Diddy instead of pause? Yep. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. No Diddy, no Diddy. Hey, no Diddy, what the hell, bro? No Diddy. Uh that's great. That don't forget that slang started on with Quilly. Then uh, on Academics Podcast. Then we got 24 hours. 
and he's claiming four bats kind of he's flattered that four bats sounds just like him <laughs> but that's a sound he has a deep voice it's this like they put this effect on their voice a lot of people do it that it's had that high pitch for some reason it's i don't know then mike tyson ends his podcast and he's moving on to better things he said academics is mad at kendrick for dissing drake when drake just said he was going to take a little hiatus from music for a little while he says attack the goat when he's in the ninth inning kendrick lamar has a tendency to throw rocks and hide his hand and people were saying drake isn't taking this seriously he liked that comment so he's confirming he's not taking it serious anyways this is jordan tell with jt news i'll check you guys the next one peace